one, I've created this video to show you how to add highlights and shadows to your animal eye drawings. Um, I'm going to take you through how to layer uh, the eyeballs, how to layer feathers, how to layer fur, how to layer scales, and even how to layer smooth surfaces, such as surfaces on the alligator and turtle. So pay close attention. This is gonna serve as my demonstration while I'm not here. Uh, if you have any questions, hopefully I can answer those when I return. Dive in, enjoy, go Butler. All right, so what we have here is a nice tiger eye. I've got my base colors already finished. What I'm looking at is the iris of the eye. You can see there's some darks around the outside of the iris. So I'm going to take a rusty brown color and kind of put a little dark edge around the outside of the iris. And I'm also going to color in the top there because it's, there's a shadow at the top. Take your finger, blend it in. Uh, again, you, you want to try to blend just where the shadow is. So I'm leaving some of that yellow unexposed. <clears throat> I'm going to take some darker brown because that shadow is darker. So I'm going to layer that on top of the rusty color to darken that shadow at the top. And we're going to blend that in. And the shadow seems a little bit darker. Um, the highlight area, I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. I know you can't really see that. This is kind of the golden yellow color. Uh, I'm going to put that in there just to kind of emphasize some of the highlight areas. And the shadow is a little bit darker at the top, so I'm going to add a little bit of black, just light pressure, and just trying to change the shade of the brown to a darker brown. I'm going to add some black to the outside edge here, just to add some contrast so that you can kind of see what this eyeball will look like, or this iris will look like. And if you notice on the right side here, there's a little tiny highlight next to the iris. I'm going to put that in with white, and I'm just going to barely touch that and blend it in to give it kind of a sheen there. There's a little bit of brown there as well, and there's some on the bottom. White highlight on the bottom, and barely touch that as well. And I'm going to... Scales. You're going to see the snake here. We've got uh, these two scales here. I'm going to look, um, and I see that... Um, it's lighter on the left. I'm going to add some of this golden yellow color uh, to the right side of each scale. Again, I want to make sure that I leave that base layer color, the light yellow, uh, on the left side. Once I've applied my yellow here, I'm going to go ahead and blend it in. I know that it's difficult to see. Um, but again, I am leaving a little bit of light yellow on the left side of each scale. It's a little bit darker on the right side, so I'm going to take uh, some orange and layer that on top. Again, I'm applying the orange just where I see that orange in the picture. I'm going to go ahead and blend that out. And it appears that the shadow is a little bit darker, so I'm going to take some rusty orange or some red, and we're going to darken that shadow even more. And I'm going to put a little bit uh, on the right side, kind of blend that out to, to, to emphasize the shadow area of the scale. I've got the cat here. Uh, I'm going to focus in on the nose area here. If you look at the fur, you need to try to replicate the direction that the fur is going. So I'm going to apply black to the gray here. And the fur on the left portion of the bridge is going diagonally up and to the right. And the portion that's on the right side of the bridge is going diagonally to the left. So you want to try to mimic the direction of the fur. I'm using the edge of my pastel to make these thin lines. Once I have it placed, I'm going to take my finger and just lightly touch and blend out these little black lines. So very little pressure. I'm basically just tapping where I've put 
the black pastel. Next, we're gonna add some highlights to this for the white area. So I'm gonna take the edge of my white pastel, and again, I'm going to just put directional fur lines in the direction that matches the reference image. I'm gonna take a clean finger and again, I'm gonna tap these. I'm just tapping them, I'm not blending like crazy. I'm just tapping in the direction that the fur is going to blend these together a little bit. And the last step is to take your white again and you're going to add some of the really highlight light fur hairs um, over top of this. And these will not be blended. So these are just going to be pastel only. If you look in the dark areas of the image, the dark fur, I'm going to take some gray and I'm going to put some directional lines inside that black area and just again lightly tap to blend those out and the same technique is true for the white areas i'm going to take some gray look at directional lines you're going to notice that the fur kind of curves around the eye kind of fans out around it place your lines and then just lightly tap the fur and it's done feathers. I've got my base layers done here. What you want to do is look at the direction that the feathers are going. This side here next to the eye, it's darker, so I'm going to take some brown and I'm pushing the pastel in the direction that the feathers are going. I'm just kind of making some stripes here. And I'm going to go around below the eye and I'm going to go above the eye here to the right. They're kind of going up in a diagonal fashion. When I blend this, I'm just going to push the pastel in the direction that the feathers are going. Now, the feathers to the left of the eye are a lot darker, so I'm going to take some black and I'm going to add some black into this. Same thing, same process. Directional lines. Same direction that the feathers are going. I'm going to go ahead and push the pastel in the direction that the feathers are going, blending them together. And there's a little bit more of that rusty red color in here, so I'm gonna add some more of that as well. Blend that out. In the lighter areas of the feathers, um, I, my base layer is that kind of tan color. Um, I'm adding some of that rusty brown color and then not too much, but I'm just kind of putting some lines in there. Just add some contrast. And again, I'm just pushing and blending in the direction that the feathers go. I'll take some darker brown and put some more in there. You want to be careful not to put too much in the lighter areas because you still want it to look like lighter feathers. And I'm going to push that brown in that direction as well. And if you want some highlights, you can take some white and put some white highlight feathers where you see fit. And I'm going to blend those out as well. Dundee. So smooth surfaces like the alligator, the gorilla face, or the turtle. Here you see the blue area. Um, I'm going to darken some of the areas, add some shadows to the, the blue here around the lips and uh, the top of the uh, nose there. So I'm, apply I'm trying to put the black where I see the black in the reference image. Take the finger and you're going to go ahead and blend it and you're blending it into the blue, but you're trying to keep the difference between the blue the same the blue and the black the same as as in the image so I'm just blending along where I put the black 
So you can still see some blue that's showing there. I want to add a highlight to the blue area. I'm going to take some white. I'm going to add it over top of that blue. And I'm going to lightly blend that with a clean finger. Just gentle pressure. So you get kind of a sheen there. Looks like it's kind of shiny. I'm going to take some black. The, the eye is definitely a lot darker than this brown. So I'm going to put some black in here. create some contrast between the iris of the eye and the actual eye socket. I'm going to take some black and fill in that pupil there. and some dark brown around the edge of the iris because it's slightly darker. The outside edge of the iris is slightly darker, so I'm taking some brown and I'm going to go ahead and blend that in. I want to make this red of the iris a lot brighter, so I'm going to add some more red make that stand out a little bit. And add a highlight to the eye here. I'm going to go ahead and go uh, about 400% faster than what I was before. Again, I'm just adding shadows where I see shadows, and I'm adding highlights where I see highlights. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Are you still paying attention? I hope you are. It's a good idea to focus in on little sections at a time, little pieces at a time. If you do that, you're more likely to have an overall finished composition. Take these techniques with you and apply them to your projects. Good luck and go Butler. <laughs>